Hey, we're back for part two of our virtual exhibit hall tonight. And tonight we are joined by the guys from Color Key LED. And we've got Nick Hernandez with us. Nick, good evening. Thank you for having me. Hey, uh, this is, happy to be here. Yeah, this is awesome here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just change the name here. You've got some toys in front of you. We've got a bunch of toys to share with you today. So I uh, hope you like lighting. Uh, we do. Lighting is so much fun. Okay, I'm going to change it. So gang, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually switch and I'm going to pin... Uh, Nick's video, so it will be, so you guys can see it as he's going to be showing us more things, because I think that should, yes. Wonderful. It'll, it'll make you full screen, and I'm going to be kind of up in the corner, I guess. Well, actually, they're not going to see me because I'm off screen. Uh, okay. That's okay. So, yeah. So, what do you have? Let's let's kind of go through things. Cool. Well, first, uh, again, thank you for having me. Um, I'm here with uh, our Color Key Lighting Assortment for uh, 2022. Uh, we've got a lot of new things. To talk about, you know, Color Keys company that's been around since about 2008. Um, I've been with the company now for about four years, and uh, we got a lot of new products to share with you. So yeah. let's jump right in. Uh, first and foremost, right over here to my right, we have the uh, Color Key Air Series. So the Color Key Air Series is our uh, premium uh, wireless battery powered uh, lights. Uh, so there's an, uh, four fixtures uh, in the assortment here. They range from a uh, six LED hex bar, so mm -hmm. hex LED, uh, hex par, uh, air par hex four, air par cob quad, and then this is the air pad uh, quad. So, you know, all the lights here, they're an ecosystem. Uh, they work along with this uh, transceiver unit, which we call the Air Hub DMX. It adds a little expanded capability, which I can jump to uh, momentarily. But just right off the bat, um, you know, some of the core features from the Color Key Air Series is their ease of use. Uh, we, we love them. Uh, they all feature this uh, multicolor OLED menu with very clear descriptions. Channel, you know, DMX, wireless on and off, full, full descriptive um, menu items so that when you're setting up the lights, you know, it's as easy as going to the wireless group, uh, which we have as ID set, you know, selecting the number of IDs, they offer up to 16 wireless groups for the series. Uh, so, you know, here they're all on, I think, ID number four. If, you know, you had a couple different groups, you could have, you know, different little segments, but I'm, I'm rambling a little bit there, but uh, it's really just about ease of use for yeah. the color air series. So being able to take them out of the box, set them all up to ID four, um, and then using whichever you have as a master. Right now I'm using the AirHub DMX as a master controller. And then you're just able to easily jump in and, uh, you know, change the colors of the units, uh, simple clicks. Uh, they offer, let's see, you know, auto programs. So, you know, community fade programs here. Um, color chases, you know, your standard, uh, the standard features that you would find in wireless, you know, lighting, as well as when you add uh, this air hub, it gives iOS capability. So that's what's a fun little thing about the air series. Oh. All the normal features that you're going to find on traditional wired lights, you know, DMX inputs and outputs for the bar and the par here. Um, you know, great battery life, six hours on all colors, up to 20 uh, independently. And let's get this down here. It's a standard color. But when you add the Air Hub, you have the ability to create a wireless network, introduce an iOS device. So an iPhone, um, an iPad, and sure. run the Air app, which then will allow you expanded capabilities through your mobile device to control the lights. So really cool really yeah. cool little ecosystem that we've put together here um do you have any questions so so we've got the the one particular the the flat one there and the very right of that i don't remember you call the panel the pad pad excuse me pad guy. So, Air pad. so the pad the pad is kind of ba for the times we want to have like a centerpiece illuminated i'm guessing yes that's just it let me show you what that would look like you want to hand me that water bottle right there dave Let's get a cool color on here. Not the ideal centerpiece. Not centerpiece. the ideal centerpiece, <laughs> but, but it, uh, it, it definitely shines up and it gives you an idea. Right, you put that, you know, on there, you're going to have a great little centerpiece light. Um, 
you know, we're working on some cool scrims to go over them. Really cool uh, piece of gear. This this unit is IP65, so, if the, you know, if the it's going to are... be water resistant. It's going to definitely support the ability to put, you know, uh, a flower base on it. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool little piece. Of and gear. in between the cob and then the the uh, the quad par there that you're the four um Part. Right. What is where are the advan what, where would you use one or have one have the advantage over the other? What kind right. of applications? So the hob par is when you're really looking for your color mixing to be, you know, of the cleanest uh variety. So I think that's when you're kind of looking for the cob unit. Also, this particular cob unit does not feature a uh, DMX IO. So it is a standalone unit. It has a little bit of a smaller footprint. So really just kind of clean, wide coverage area washes. Um, is where the cob would kind of come in, but then the the hex four par. I mean, it's a standard workhorse, you know, form fixture, trussing, uplighting, you know, your your standard column right. uplighting. So yeah, nice, excellent. Well, let's see, let's keep going. What do you what do you have on uh, the bar? So yeah, so again, that's the color key um, air series, uh, and that got released about in October. So nice. they're currently uh, available and in, you know, major, major dealers are out there on the web. So I encourage, uh, you know, the users to go ahead and go check those out. Uh, yeah. More, more information can be found on colorkeyled.com. Again, it's the air series and it can be found in our wireless section. Uh, lots of great, you know, videos and, you know, all the, all the fine details mm -hmm. that I want really bore anybody with but you want the specs that's where you're yeah, gonna find they'll be there yep <laughs> great yep. Nick. um so since we're in the kind of world of wireless we can jump over here mm -hmm. uh to this guy which is the mobile par mini hex 4 so this is another battery powered wireless unit offered by color key lighting it is outside of the air series ecosystem so that ios kind of capability that i spoke about with air series sure that's not offered here but your traditional wireless DMX, you know, communication totally is. So if you're running signal into any air series, it, it can just be picked up, you know, by your uh, mobile par mini. Everything's going to work together, you know, through wireless DMXing. So just wanted to kind of point that out. Uh, standard, you know, little uh, par here. It's a four by 12 hex, so RGBA, WUV. Great little utility light, um, six hours, all colors up to 20 hours uh, on a static color. Um, we sell them as an individual unit or where we really kick in the value is in a four pack. So the four pack is the four lights plus the case. We retail that at about $8.99. It's a great deal. Um, right now I have them, I think all hooked up there. They're kind of running and doing their thing and they have IR. Again, oh, something I didn't mention about um, Air series also IR compatible, so it's a big thing about color key. We're really into the IR, so you could be, you know, a pro user, you could be just a you know consumer who right. really just wireless lighting solutions. You know, house of worship, um, corporate events. Everybody really is, you know, a lighting customer. We all like to have a little zazz now, especially with people on uh, live streaming like we're doing. You know, so the wireless solutions. We're finding a lot of customers outside of the wireless world you know, kind of interested. And mm -hmm. so having that IR remote, um, it's a great feature to have. So so Nick, if a person were going to take the smaller lights we were just talking about there, the hex uh, units, and we were going to put 12 of them around the room, we're yes. wireless as far as we're battery powered, so we don't have to run cords that way. We can sure. do wireless control. What way would be the best way for me to control those it, you know, kind of as it's getting started, the best way to control them so I could have all 12 of them changing colors. So if I wanted to start out with a blue in the early time and then maybe turn it to red during the party, what would be the best way? Would you recommend to do that? I mean, right out of the box, the, the four eight pack is, is ready to go for that solution. At one point during the light, you know, you're going to start in the morning. Uh, like you said, early, you're going to be red or maybe early you're going to be blue uh, and then go to red. It's as easy as use leveraging that IR remote to to quickly change the room. So, I mean, in terms of, of functionality, the IR remote is going to be a great feature. You can offer the control right there from the units themselves through the onboard menus. Or if you have an external, you know, DMX controller, whether it's a wired one or a wireless one, these units will also take them um, to help keep the low profile 
They have a, a Ethernet connection in the bottom. Hmm. The units themselves, they come with those um, cables for DMX to Ethernet. So hmm. uh, we provide everything to kind of keep the, the footprint a little bit smaller. Uh, they're set up right now on the uh, kickstand, but they also have this nice built-in um, little handle yeah, for, for easy transport. <laughs> So cool, cool little uh, system there. Will the remote allow those to chase? Is there a button on the remote to? So there isn't a chase. Um, I mean, you know, if you're talking about like a red, green, blue, and kind of snaking through, just like to, just I, to have some would, action. Yeah, that would be more kind of like. A, I mean, obviously, uh, it has a, a strobing feature, so you can hold down a button. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Um, it has a strobing feature, uh, fading feature. Let's see, auto. It has an auto program, but none that would let the right, units. But I mean, it, they would change. Like right now, they're changing colors. So if I wanted to just have them doing different things, exactly. Again, we're looking for really simple control just to do for the because there's folks out there who are DMX. You know, have a, a fear of DMX. And yet yeah, they want to have like something. A, a nice fade program. Let's yeah, see. exactly. So there are there are definitely capabilities with that remote. Excellent. Oh yes, abso absolutely. You can do a manual color painting as well. So like, let's see here. Sorry. Let's go into my manual. Red. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a little slow, but what you have the ability to do on the, the remote is use it like a, a palette. So what I just entered into was my manual mode. You can't see it, but very dim in there is red. And as I go with the plus button, that red is going to get uh, hopefully brighter and brighter. <laughs> it's got 256 steps, so it could take some time. Yeah, so you have to, you know, push the steps in. But what that gives you the ability to do, control really? the brightness, yeah. control the dim. That's also a, a feature over here of our uh, mobile parts. Yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, you know, so tons, tons of control with these IR remotes. That's what I've been noticing. It's what customers have asked me about when I have products that yeah. don't have it in it. So. Uh, the majority of new color key products all come with IR. Yeah. So just wanted to kind of point that out. Uh, how about we look at something new and let's, fun? Let's do it. You've got some other stuff. So let's check it out. Right here. Let's see. I think I might have blocked it out. There we go. This is the color key party bar go. Battery powered. I don't see a cord. You don't see a cord. Not a bit. It is a gig, it is a gig bar of sorts. Yeah. And uh, so that's called the Party Bar Go. It's uh, the color keys, battery powered, you know, multi light solution. Uh, it comes with a two meter stand as well as a bag, IR remote. Uh, you got two derbies on there, some PARs with built in inlay, uh, like a strobing inlay. So, you know, Get to go put that in the corner of the room somewhere with no outlets. You can use it, you know, uh, on exteriors. Great little mobile piece of gear. Yeah. Uh, very powered. You know, it's going to run up to about three to five hours, depending upon the settings you're using. Sure. Yeah. A DMX in and out. Uh, power charges in about four hours, I would say. Somewhere in that ballpark. Sure. Really cool little unit there. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite little lights here. It's a tiny little guy. Dave may, might need to zoom up on it, but let's see here. Uh, you have a standard traditional mini par, but built in there, it's a party bulb. Can so you shine, aim, it, motorized. aim it to a side a little bit because they're right in, at the camera. And it's tougher. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be tougher for us to see it. Yeah, what we have, Dave, you want to bring that up? Well, let's get a close up for you guys. There we go. This little guy, $49.99. Great utility piece, you know, for a DJ who just kind of wants to get uh, any color or light around the room, a little bit of movement. Great little IR remote. You can kind of flip through there and get some little programs painted however you want. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of uh, party light effects. Yeah. Can go ahead and set that back down there. Let's get these guys turned off real quick. And uh, we'll get into something.
All right. Uh, I'll show you our newest effects light. Yeah. That's so this guy right here is called the Kraken. The it Kraken. Is a, We're going to release the Kraken. Yeah, yeah. Release the Kraken, <laughs> John. <laughs> Let's see here. So the Kraken is like a spinning football. It spins, it flashes, it pukes. It's got glow. It's 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 a glowing also. It's a glowing. Um, so the housing, while it looks black, is actually like a translucent gray. That's so what I, yeah, light, it when you black. light it up, the whole thing just glows. You know, it's got these lenses out here that produce beams. So, you know, when hung uh, in a club, it's going to give that really cool, like traditional 80s, like beam disco internally in the center of the unit. There's like the strip that goes around that like has those blinding like LED oh, yeah, um, yep. sets. So just a really fun cool light the customers are definitely digging this guy it's called the kraken so you know i don't know what else more to say about that uh oh if i had some fog i could show you it definitely has a kraken-esque you know <laughs> feel to it when you see those beams of light uh spinning around tons of fun so they would be master slave and dmx controllable and yep master slave dmx controllable there's no ir function with this one but you know if you're if you just want like some organic uh movement you know you could set it on sound active it's going to do a show for you but yeah tons of features through uh dmx control um a lot of fun yeah that would be that is are the, is it are the two sides are they rotating independent of each other or are they both going the same direction is it sides are not uh independent of each other okay. but they have independent dmx zones okay so the right and left uh dmx can can be troll can can be controlled in any way and i believe that internally it's a rgb on each side so you yeah. can mix rgb per each side and then have ind independent control this like little strobing feature here in the center uh lots of fun yeah that is neat a, kind of a retro but but a uh, step up from our retro lights from those the 80s and 90s exactly you know i think every assortment needs to have some fun lights in them so i'll show you this next <laughs> one kind of along the same lines not quite as uh moving and exciting as the uh as the crack in here but this is called the odin it's our homage to a, like a derby light and then let me just take this down here um you have just like this really bright output but from one single lens that kind of reminds me of like a war of the world or like as mm -hmm. we call it odin uh so this is just like your standard derby pretty cool feature here um let's see here there we go what's yep. that color changing and oh yeah here we go i'm just gonna have you have go to the back there there you go yep so standard derby what kind of control would that one have? This one has DMX control. Sound active, you know, your set it and forget it modes, mm -hmm. but no IR with this one, at least not on this iteration. Mm -hmm. But I have DMX control, so I can sync up a couple, a couple of them and have some fun with them. Absolutely. Yeah. The so DMX control on that one. Um, you know, that is everything that we had for show and tell today. Uh, so I'm happy to answer any questions if you had any uh, I'm just getting. I've gotten the the loving loving the lights uh, the lights out of it. Um, oh oh the the uh, the light tree the light the uh, unit there. Does that come with a, a carry bag or how do you guys what do you have with that? So the yeah so this uh, party bar go it comes with a carry bag. It has a carrying bag for the lighting fixture as well as a two meter stand. So those are two separate bags that come okay. with the unit. And if a person has uh, two of them, um, how would you how would you sync them together? I would sync them together in a master slave uh, cool. function. And then you could yeah. use your remote on the master and correct. Perfect. Definitely. Perfect. You know, now that there's battery powered and wireless, you, you know, you can put a lot of runs. You know, separate oh, yeah. them, have a, a wireless uplight as a receiver at one end. So you know, it doesn't always have to be direct with with cable. So. I think that's what we offer a lot of wireless options. You know, um, we also, and what, unfortunately I don't have any here. We offer a uh, lighting stand totems, which is another great uh, feature or a product that would support, you know, mobile up lighting applications. Uh, the color key LS six and eight. Dave, is there one right around the corner over there? 
That's all right. We'll have to show you next time, John. Yeah, well, no, we definitely, definitely we'll do this again. That worked out wonderfully. Uh, again, the website you guys can go to is colorkeyled.com, and you'll be able to check out the full line of uh, of different lighting that they have for the mobile DJs out there. Excellent. Nick, some good stuff there. Good, good stuff. And uh, somebody had a question, do the wireless remotes come with the lights? Yes, they do. Okay, so it's all included. Yep, all inclusive. Uh, again, and I'll just run it down the the Air series. They're all going to come with an IR remote. Um, you know the associated power adapter for the Air Hub. They have uh, wireless antennas uh, that goes as well for the Cobb and the Bar. The standard hex and pad do not have any you know external antennas, but all all needed components are included um, with the units. Wonderful. Wonderful. Once again, uh, pop up to the website and check them out. And uh, yeah, there's some great new things out there from Color Key LED. Nick, I want to thank you for being on with me this evening. Thanks, John. It was a pleasure to be here and uh, we hope we can come back. Yeah, that would be great. Gang, we're going to be back here at the top of the hour. We're going to shut this video off and you can go out to djntv.com slash virtual expo and go to the actual training video. That will be up and that'll be starting in about 10 minutes. Nick, once again, thanks for being with me. Have a good one.